Ah, oh, this is fire. This is fire. <laughs> this is really fire, man. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull back. I'm going to pull back to where that base started, I think. Hopefully, this is the right area, and then I'll try to let it ride. But if they do any more crazy, <laughs> amazing stuff, I can't promise anything. Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and what I do on this channel a lot is uh, search for new music. And I have my ways, and uh, YouTube plays a major role in that. And uh, one day I came across uh, the song House of Jealous Lovers. Uh, it had this really cool sort of percussion sort of start to the song. And uh, like around 30 seconds, a minute in, I stopped. So I do know like the first minute, um, it sounded really good. And, and it, it actually, at that point when I stopped it, uh, it started to get really like interesting, like really even more interesting um, with some guitar. Uh, and I'm like, okay. So I stopped, put it in the queue. And I'm like, I got to react to this on this channel. Uh, so the band is The Rapture. The song is House of Jealous Lovers. Uh, I've been I've been waiting. I've been holding myself. I've been disciplining myself for a while now from listening to the song the whole entire way. Now I get my chance. Let's go. I knew something was coming up. <laughs> uh, that was like percussion overload there in the beginning. Not complaining. Let me go back a little bit right before the guitar starts. Base. Oh, this is fire. This is fire. <laughs> this is really fire, man. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull back. I'm going to pull back to where that base started, I think. Hopefully, this is the right area, and then I'll try to let it ride. But if they do any more crazy, <laughs> amazing stuff, I can't promise anything. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Go there. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we go.
Did I stop it in time? No, no commercial. Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. Wow, so many trees cut down each year. Go digital. <laughs> digital. Anyway, um, wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right. Let me get my thoughts together. Uh, maybe you could tell that I was a little excited during that reaction. And I'll explain to everyone why on the other side. You know that saying, good things come to those who wait. Uh, and I waited for a while. And uh, I don't know why I waited that long. I mean, it's actually been in my queue for the last three months. Um, but yeah, you know. Oh, well. Um, I don't know why I do things <laughs> the way I do. Uh, but hey, I got to it. I am so grateful. Wow. Really. I mean, that whole song. Oh, man. Um, where do I start? Well, let's start from the beginning, right? That's easy. Uh, that percussion, percussion overload uh, in the beginning. Um, and, and it really was, it was one of the main stars throughout the whole entire song because uh, she had the percussion, just, you know, these little bits here and there, these sounds, you know, the ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, tapping here and, and pulsating sort of, you know, rhythm here, you know, you know, coming from like a drum track. I think there's a drum track. Um, I think there's some real live drums coming in too. Um, but again, that percussion that sort of just set the tone right in the beginning. Uh, and I'm like, where is this heading? And then you had that sort of guitar, you know, and then there was that cowbell. I think there was a cowbell, right? So um, again, all these sounds uh, and that bass, then the bass. Wow. There was a point um, when you look at the reaction, my actual reaction to the song. Um, I wanted to pull it back so much. I really did. And I decided not to. You know, <laughs> it took all my strength not to pull it back. And I just let it go. Oh, that was so good. That bass playing. Um, and the guitar was so, you know, it was so that guitar riff that was coming in. Um, and then it got dirtier as it went on. It got really dirty, you know, and dirty is good. You know, it was great, filthy, dirty. Um, and uh, it's interesting, too, because there was at one point it kind of like I think stopped, whatever, except for like that sort of drum track thing and the little bass coming in. Um, and it sounded almost like a sort of a basic sort of disco beat, you know, so that was really interesting because it really and it kind of it sort of signified to me that this is a dance song like. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if they would stamp it as a dance song, right? But I think this is absolutely, you know, something where people can just get on the dance floor and just, you know, work it out. <laughs> you know, however you want to express yourself um, through the song, I think it really allows you to kind of just, you know, let it go. Um, definitely has that dance beat, um, but it was like a hard edge, a rougher edge type of um sound you know so i don't know what kind of genre they would put that you know what kind of dance um sort of genre song would this be um that even makes sense but yeah and 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 his voice right i mean i don't think he's really singing much in the lyrics so i'm not going to go into the lyrics at the end uh but just that he's singing that house of jealous lovers you know and he's just screaming it you know but the, just the effectiveness of that right um yeah you know it's just sort of unbridled you know just sort of roar you know there's a lot of rawness right again with that guitar you know it's either his voice to the guitar you know which one is the most sort of you know again you know grittier just you know letting it go um yeah and uh i that that's kind of it i sort of I think i said everything that i wrote on the notes here um let me get into the band that got pulled up on wiki and what are they saying about the rapture? And they are from New York, New York, New York, the city, New York, uh, formed in 1998. So the band currently consists of Luke Jenner, lead vocals, guitar, Beto, Rocco Forte, uh, drums, percussion, Gabriel and Druzzi, and Druzzi, uh, keyboards, bass, saxophone, percussion. Wow, does it all. Um, the classic lineup added Maddie Safer, who 
who played bass. Uh, so he's on the bass and Sharon lead vocal duties with uh, Luke Jenner. So I wonder who sang on this song. Was it Safer or was it Jenner? I think it was just one guy on this one. And Safer and Jenner's harmonized choruses became part of the signature sound of the band, featuring on several of the band's more well-known songs. Um, that's interesting because I, I, I wonder if this is one of their well-known songs. Uh, the band mixed influences from many genres, including dance punk. Okay. So I was, yeah, all right, punk, dance punk. Because I was wondering, like, what kind of, you know, what would you tag, you know, next to dance for the song? And I guess punk, that makes sense. Uh, Post-punk, acid, house, disco, and electronica. Uh, those are the several type, type of genres that this band uh, is asso are associated with. Um, they're forerunners of the post-punk revival during the early 2000s. And they mixed their early post-punk sound with electronic and dance elements. Yeah, this is it. Uh, they released a mini album, Mirror, in 1999. And then um, they released the song House of Jealous Love is in 2002. And it peaked at number 27 on the UK singles chart in 2003, received critical acclaim. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's great. And was this off of, what album was this off of? I think this might've been off of Echoes. And if I go down really quick to see Echoes, it will tell me that, yep, House of Jealous Love is track number six. Five minutes. That was five minutes long. I could have listened to that another three minutes or so. Or four. <laughs> All right, five. No, another five. Double it, you know? Hit me again. Uh, absolutely. This is great. Um, this is going on a track list. It's going up on the top track list. I can't wait to actually end this reaction video so I can go back and listen to it. I might even, you know, might even get my feet moving a bit, you know, as I listen to it. Um, so with that said, uh, let me know what you think about this band, the song. Was that next, uh, the Rapture song that I should listen to? And in the meantime, I'll see everyone on the next episode of Into the Music.